Let's talk about something within molecular biology called the Chargoff's rule. Chargoff's rule was obviously discovered by Erwin Chargoff. And this rule basically states that the percent of adenine, or A, is approximately the same percent of thymine, T. It also states that the percent of guanine is approximately the same as the percent of cytosine. So this rule basically states that you're going to find the same amounts of two nucleotides within DNA. So the amount of A's and T's will roughly be the same, and the amount of G's and C's will roughly be around the same. Let's do two practice problems about Chargoff's rule. You find some bacteria and sequence the genome and find the percent of thymine is 12%. What is the percent of adenine? Now, this question is pretty easy because we know the amount of T's and A's are going to be the same, so it's approximately about 12%. However, this question is going to be a little bit more difficult. You sequence the genome of a dog and find the percent of thymine is 10%. What is the percent of cytosine? This is more difficult because T's and C's don't go together. However, T's and A's do. We know the percent of thymine is 10%, which means the percent of adenine is also going to be 10%. And if we add those two percents together, we're going to get 20%. So the AT concentration within the genome of this dog is 20%. The remaining percent of the DNA is going to be 80%. And that 80% is made of guanine and cytosine. So all we have to do is take this 80% and divide it by 2 because the amount of G's and C's will roughly be the same. And we get 40 for that percent. So the answer here is 40%.